my uh, interest is, has been focused on uh, the community service and uh, with, with an overall kind of theme and goal. I've been trying for at, at least 15 years to focus on uh, the care uh, of uh, particularly elderly, but people of a variety of ages uh, near the end of life at home. And uh, this has led to a, a wide variety of activities that have been involved with a, quite a number of organizations and agencies uh, as a consultant, as a uh, board member, as a volunteer, um, and as a professional. And I've worked toward that goal um, because of both personal and professional experience. The measure of success is uh, whether we're actually able to achieve keeping people at home, which is where at least 80% of people want to be, even at the end of life. And uh, the impact of my work over the last years actually is measurable, and, and it's been one of my activities is to do that kind of measurement. Uh, the Department of Health keeps track of where people die in death certificates, and we've, we've looked uh, in the 1990s, uh, uh, only uh, between 18 and 20 percent of people were able to, to die at home. And uh, I looked at the data for 2009, uh, just the last month, and we're up to uh, 30 percent of people. So I, I can measure it statistically, that uh, not just my efforts, but the efforts of all the organizations that I've been working with and all the people that I've collaborated with, um, that we've, we've changed things in the state. At the individual level, I, I visit people at home. I provide medical care to people uh, who are uh, sick and dying in the home setting. And I can see the impact on the patients and families, uh, their ability to, to not have to move from place to place and, and deal with strangers and for families to be able to be comfortably with their loved ones near the end of life and in, in a home-like setting. Uh, personally, uh, this has come about due to changes in my life and has changed me even more. I, I came to this work as a geriatrician, as a uh, physician who was, was caring for, for frail elderly, um, but uh, in about 15, 17 years ago, uh, my wife and I had a daughter that was seriously ill, and we made a commitment to care for her at home, keep her at home, not have her even use the hospital. And it, it uh, took a lot of work and effort and uh, trying to persuade our health care providers that that was possible. Uh, but we were able to do that, in part because of my professional expertise. Um, what I have come to do is try to achieve that same quality of care for my patients and my practice, as well as for everyone in the community. And so with that overall goal of if you want to be at home, that uh, we do the things that are necessary to make that happen.